Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to highlight top five flank chain functions which can improve your performance drastically. So let's have a look at the very first one. The first one is multi query retriever. So this uh, particular function generates multiple queries from different perspective for a given user query. So user will just give one query, but internally it will try to transform into multiple queries from different different angles. And then what it does is for every single query, it will try to fetch the relevant documents. Then it will union the results across all the queries to obtain a larger set of potentially relevant documents. And doing this will provide, uh, definitely generate a richer set of results. So here is the code snippet, which I have taken it from the LangChain's documentation. And here you can see how easy it is to utilize multi-query retriever. Coming on to the next one, which is multi-vector retriever. So multi-vector retriever allows you to store multiple vectors per document. So what I mean to say is basically it does three different things. So whenever you are giving any document, it will first chunk it. It will create small chunks. It will split your document into smaller chunks and then embed those chunks using a feature called parent document retriever, which I will discuss soon. Then the second one is summarize. So it creates a summary of each document, embed that along with the document itself. And the third one is hypothetical questions. So it will try to generate some hypothetical questions for every single document. And that would have like for every question, it will also have the answers and all those answers will get embedded to the document. So these are the three ways how it generates multiple vectors for a given document. And here is the link of the documentation where you can directly go search for multi-vector and you will get the code snippet directly written over there. The third one is the parent document retrievers. So as part of multi-vector retriever family, this function splits document into smaller chunks and embeds them. So it is very useful for handling longer context scenarios and improving the retrieval quality. So if you don't know like what this is, I have already created a video on this long back. So this is a screenshot of that video and I would recommend you to go and check this out. In this video, I have explained like in and out of the parent document viewer, what, uh, retriever, what is it and how we can utilize it. Coming on to the fourth one, which is long context reorder. So if you will look at the problem or the one which I have mentioned here, so whenever we are working with longer context, what usually happens is the model encounters long, whenever model encounters long context, it tried to ignore the middle portion of the document. So it will just grab the top portion, it will grab the bottom one, but the one which is in the middle will usually be ignored. And this is how the language models work. So if we want to consider the middle part or the one which was ignored by the model, then we need to reorder documents. And that's the reason this function is there, which is long context reorder. So LCR is short for this and it aims to reorder the retrieved document after every retrieval by shuffling the deck of all the results or all the retrieved documents. And doing this will definitely reorder them based on where the content is because sometimes our most important content is sitting in the middle. So doing this or using this function will reorder everything and will give us the most relevant results. And the last one is contextual compression. So let's take an example uh, that your queries, uh, that your queries and the vector store it's that you query your vector store and you found that there are five relevant documents. So now out of those five, uh, let's say you want to pass all the five documents to the LLM. So it is not a good practice. And in fact, it is uh, too compute heavy as well because those documents may be too large. So what we can do is we can go with the contextual compression feature of LangChain and this particular feature will remove all the irrelevant document information which is buried in those five documents which we just retrieved. So instead of immediately returning the retrieved document to LLM, this contextual compression aims to compress them using the context of a given query. Now while compression, it will do two different things. First, it will filter out, uh, it will reduce the noisy thing, the extra characters or unused characters from these documents. And sometimes it will even remove the entire document itself. And doing this will definitely reduce the size of our context and it will help our LLM to work fast on that. 
And if we are doing this, definitely we are improving the response time and reducing our computational cost. So these are the five functions and I would recommend you go and check this out. So documentation link is over here and you can also go to python.langchain.com and directly search for the keyword and it will give you the beautiful documentation over there. So that's all I have for today and thanks for watching.